hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video uh, i'm going to show you how you can create your plugin startup uh, folder and files using wp cli so let's jump into the command uh, this is my local wordpress site and i am in the plugin section let's refresh this I have currently this number of plugins right now and we will be adding a new plugin uh, using WP command uh, CLI command so this will not develop your whole plugin obviously but it will create some necessary folder and files to start building your plugin so let me show you that command so I'll go into the terminal and this is my uh, root of the local site. So the command is WP scaffold plugin. Then your plugin slug, uh, which is I'm going to keep this test plugin. Then, then the plugin name, so the plugin name whatever you want to have I will keep consistency so test plugin is a slug that means uh, I will keep the name test plugin then the plugin description whatever you want to have then the plugin author whatever author you want to give the plugin and skip test skip test will skip the test folder during your development purpose we don't need it uh, as of now uh, this is necessary when you are going to write down a unit test but uh, most of the time we don't do that but this is a good practice to write down unit test but as of now for the showing purpose I am just keeping this test so I will hit enter and let's wait for a moment and it says created plugin files so now uh, let's go to this plugin section over here and refresh this and as you can see our plugin has been created and added now you can activate this whatever you want to do so this plugin does nothing it is just created a folder and a necessary file for the plugin let me show you what is there by adding this plugin so this is the plugin and these are some necessary files created by the command this is distribute uh, ignore file as of now you can ignore this we don't need it this is also we don't need this is also we don't need if you are going to add it your plugin on the git then only this will be needed this is the task runner uh, by default provided by uh, this wp command i will i will add a separate video for this but uh, for for your information this is and this will automate your development pro process uh, for example uh, let me show you the demo how this uh, first let me open this file so this is the necessary main file for the plugin so this number of files has been added when you write down that command and this is how you can uh, start your plugin using WP CLI command I will provide a reference link into the description section so if you want to uh, research more about this command you can do it by yourself so uh, let's let's see what is there in the package so what is package package means there are set of function functions which is included in in this file so that we just need to initiate that commands or functions whatever it is 
so let's go to our plugin oops sorry, content plugin test plugin so as you can see this is a grunt command and this is a grunt file grunt is a task runner task runner means whenever you are developing it will run some task in the background uh, which is uh, defined over here again i will i will create separate video on this i am just uh, going to give you some idea how this grunt file works so first whenever you go into the plugins root you just need to uh, run this command first npm install so whenever you uh, you run this command you have to wait for some time it will download some necessary files based on the functions defined over here in the package JSON. and as you can see now this folder has come after running this command npm install so in this folder all the functionalities and dependent functionalities are there based on this package file uh, after installing this you need to run a grunt uh, maybe what command i need to run grunt uh, hold on grunt start grunt readme okay let me try to run this command grunt start okay no command grunt okay you just need to uh, run grunt command this is uh, showing some errors because our plugin is not fully developed but uh, let me show you one example for example uh, I am going to echo some text our text domain is this but we I am not going to use this domain over here and now I will run this grunt command over here and as you can see this command automatically change this text domain so this is a basic use which I showed you uh, in this video but in the in other uh, in another video uh, I will explain the detail process regarding this so I hope you guys uh, understand this process and yeah if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video